What the United States, its five partners in the international community, and the Iranians announced today was an agreement on key parameters of a comprehensive deal to constrain Iran's nuclear program. But it's clear that the numbers, the size of the Iranian centrifuge program, uh, are larger than what the U.S. originally was looking for, that there have been some other compromises made along the way, probably with respect to the duration of an agreement, which has not been announced to date, but is uh, rumored to be, in the Iranian press at least, somewhere in the realm of about 10 years. That's a shorter agreement than many were looking for. The verification of the agreement will be undertaken by the International Atomic Energy Agency, an arm of the United Nations system, one that has been very busy and active in Iran over recent years, and one that the United States has an excellent relationship with. The other element of verification, which of course will hold Iran's feet to the fire, is that it will not receive the sanctions relief that it so desires until and unless it fulfills its end of the bargain. I think we're already seeing criticism of the agreement from the Israelis. The Israelis um, would like a, a much more comprehensive agreement, one that bars any enrichment on the part of the Iranians and really reduces uh, any prospect for their nuclear activity at all. The president has decided that that's simply unachievable. I think this is consistent with the perspectives of most of our international partners on this issue. We're going to see a tense U.S. and Israeli relationship on this particular question, but if we can get a deal and if the deal holds, I think, in fact, that it's possible to see some Israeli support for the eventual outcome. Congress is a key player in all of this. The Congress returns from its Easter Passover recess on April 13th, and there are two bills that are ready to go. I suspect the first to move that will be, will be one sponsored by Senator Corker, which is aimed at giving the Congress an up or down vote on any final agreement and preventing the president from implementing an agreement until and unless Congress approves it. Um, there is widespread support for that measure and we may see the administration start to negotiate the terms of the measure with the Congress in order to find a way to make this amenable to some kind of eventual implementation of a deal.